The purpose of this video is to show you the most commonly used features for our OCR interface. We have one interface that works with three engines. The three engines are the Advantage, Professional, and Plus. Let's now take a look at the interface and see what all it has to offer. For our first application, we'll overcome the problem of converting a scanned document into a searchable PDF. Let's create a Windows Forms application. Next, I'll add the references that we need to run this application. The references we'll need for this demo are the leadtools.codex, the leadtools.codex.fax, the leadtools.codex.tiff, the leadtools DLL, the leadtools.forms.ocr, the leadtools.forms.ocr.advantage, and the leadtools.forms.documentwriters. Once we've added the references, we'll next go to the form load event. We'll do this in three lines of code, as illustrated on our website. First, I'll specify the source file. Next, I'll specify the target file. We'll create an OCR engine interface. passing advantage to use the advantage engine, and false as the advantage engine does not use the thunker. We'll next call the OCR engine.startup function. This is required to use any of the OCR engines. We'll use the auto recognition manager and call its run function. We'll pass our source file and target file, target format, and pass null for the rest of the options as we do not have a zone file and we're not interested in the progress callback. I'll add some code to open the resulting file. Let's now look at the original TIFF file. You can see it has four pages. Now let's run our code. And here you can see the resulting PDF in Adobe Reader. You can see we can select the text, which means we have successfully converted the multi-page TIFF file to a searchable PDF file. Next, we'll take a look at some of the features that OCR offers to aid in the conversion process. One feature is the ability to pre-process the image. By accessing the Auto Recognize Manager's Pre-Process Page Commands property, you can tell our OCR engine to automatically rotate any pages that are not oriented for reading. You can also de-skew or invert the image's color. These processes all occur prior to the page being read by our OCR. Another feature is the Auto Recognize Manager's Maximum Pages Before LTD property. 
LTD stands for Lead Tools Document. This is a temporary document format. We created this format to assist in recognizing files with many pages. Files containing many pages have the potential to use all the memory in the system while being recognized. To prevent this from occurring, we'll process the file in chunks of pages. When we reach the maximum number of pages, we save the results to our LTD format and free the memory associated with those pages. For each chunk of pages processed, we'll create an LTD file. Once all pages have been recognized, we can combine all the LTD files into the output file format you specified. The default value we have set is 8 pages. It is best to adjust this value for your system to find the perfect balance of speed and performance. Auto Recognize Manager's Job Error Mode property allows you to specify whether the engine should continue processing for non-critical errors or abort the recognition process completely. And finally, you can adjust the options used when saving the results out to file using the Get Options Set Options functions from the OCR Engine's Document Writer Instant property. The document writer object is an object we developed that takes care of writing document formats out the file. When you call the get options function, you specify the format you're interested in and cast the return value to the formats option class. In this case, we'll use the PDF document options class. Some options you have for PDF are you have the option to have the bookmarks automatically generated. You can choose what compression to use for both color and black and white images. You can specify a quality factor to use for JPEG compression. You can choose the PDF file version, including PDFA. You can have the file saved with the original image over searchable text. You can choose features to have disabled without first specifying a user password, or you can protect the entire document with an owner password. You can set the document properties such as keywords, author, subject, and title, and you can also have the file linearized. Let's give this document a user password. And you must also specify for the PDF file to be protected. Once you have made all your modifications, you can then call set options, specifying the format and then passing the document option class as a second parameter. Now we'll recognize a TIFF where three of the four pages have been rotated. I'll just update the name of the file, then we'll run this code. Adobe is asking for the password. We enter it, and now we can see each page of the document and note all pages are rotated correctly. Some other features the Auto Recognize Manager offers is the ability to create a job using the OCR Auto Recognize Job Data class. With this class, you can create jobs where the source file only has a range of pages processed, and you can specify user data as well. Pass this class filled out to the Auto Recognize Manager's Create Job function to obtain an OCR Auto Recognize Job instance.
You can then pass this instance to the Auto Recognize Manager's Run Job function or Run Job Async function. The Run Job function runs the job in the main thread, while the Run Job Async processes the job in a separate thread. You can handle the events, job started, job progress, job operation, and job completed to obtain more information about the status of the job or to abort all jobs while they are processing. Use the Auto Recognize Manager function abort all jobs to end all recognition processing. What I have showed you up to now is a very high level interface to our OCR engines. Next, I will show you a lower level interface you can use to access our engines. We'll solve the same problem of converting a scanned document to a searchable PDF file. Using the same OCR engine interface we used before, we'll now obtain a new reference to a document object through the OCR engine document managers function create document. This returns a virtual representation of the document we want to convert. The OCR document interface contains a reference to a document writer instance, which will be used to write out the resulting file. It also contains a reference to a raster codex instance, which can be used to load the source file. You can also specify with the use engine instance options property, whether you want the OCR document interface to use its parents engine settings or to use the settings found in the OCR document interface when using the document writer or raster codex instances. The OCR document interface contains a collection of pages. Each item in the collection is an instance of the OCR page interface, which represents a page in the file. The pages collection has the functions add page and add pages with many overloads to help you add pages into our OCR document interface. These include adding a page from a raster image object from a stream, file name, or URI. The add pages function allows you to, the ability to specify which pages from the document will be added using the same overloads as the add page function. The add dib function allows you to add a page from a device independent bitmap. And finally, the add function allows you to add an instance of an IOCR page interface. For our project, let's use the add pages function specifying a file name, start on the first page, pass negative one to load all pages, and pass null for the OCR progress callback. If you would like for the OCR engine to perform any pre-processing on the image, use the auto pre-process function. The options you have here are the same options you had using the auto recognize managers pre-process page commands property. You can pre-process all the pages or specify a range of pages. Let's process all the pages and pass null for the OCR progress callback. The AutoZone function will perform an auto decomposition of all the pages in the OCR document to find the text, graphics, and tabular zones using predefined parameters. You can AutoZone the entire document or specify a range of pages. When you specify a range of pages, you can also specify which parser to use. Parsers are the algorithms used to perform the decomposition of the document. We have standard, the most accurate, legacy, which is faster and less accurate, and fast, which does not parse tables. There is also a default setting which lets the engine determine the best parser to use. The OCR fill method can be specified as well, or you can pass default to let the engine decide which to use. The fill method simply specifies whether the zone contains machine printed data, handwritten data, a graphic, table, etc. And finally, you can specify what units you would like for the zone coordinates to be created with using the zone unit parameter.
Once any of the pages have been zoned, you can use the OCR document functions to save and load the zones for later use. We'll simply call the AutoZone Overload to process all pages and pass null for the OCR Progress callback. The Export Page and Export Pages functions allow you to obtain a copy of the image the OCR document currently holds. For instance, if we called the Auto Preprocess function specifying to rotate all pages that are not right side up, you can use this function to obtain a copy of the image after it has been rotated. You can export the page to a raster image object, directly to stream, or directly to file specifying a file format in bits per pixel. Along with the add, add page, add pages, and add dib, we also have insert, insert page, insert pages, and insert dib each having the same parameters and functionality as their corresponding add functions, except for having an index to specify where to insert the page or pages in the pages collection. Call the recognize function to have the OCR read the text from the pages collection. The recognize function can be used to recognize either all the pages or a range of pages in the document. We'll just call Recognize to process all the pages, passing null for the OCR progress callback. Once the Recognize function is called, you can then use the OCR document's save function to save the results to one of the file formats we support. Just as you could use the function's get options set options from the OCR engine's document writer instance property to adjust the default settings for each format, you can do the same from the OCR document's document writer instance property. Another feature the OCR document object has is the ability to save the results as XML using the save XML function. You can have the function return a string containing the entire results save to disk or save to stream. We'll save our results to PDF, passing null for the OCR progress callback. Now let's run our code and view the results. You can now see we can select the text and we have all four pages. Now let's go back and take a deeper look at the OCR page interface. I'll modify the source file to be an image that contains a table. We'll also use the professional engine for this recognition. We'll need to add the DLL reference for the professional engine. The DLL is the lead tools.forms.ocr.professional. I'll put a breakpoint after we add some pages and debug the code. We'll take a look at the pages collection and drill down to the OCR page interface. The OCR page interface provides information about the page such as bits per pixel, X and Y resolution, width and height in pixels, and the original format for the file the page was loaded from. It also tells you whether the page has been recognized by the OCR engine, provides a table zone manager, which allows you to obtain more information about a table, 
and contains a zone collection. Each item in the zone collection is an instance of an OCR zone structure. Let's drill down into the zones collection. The OCR zone structure tells us many things about the zone. The after recognition notes property tells you whether the user dictionary or language dictionary was in use if any dictionaries were in use at all. The bounds property gives you the bounds of the zone and logical units. The sales property is an array of OCR zone cell classes. Each item represents an item in a table. This array is only populated if the OCR zone's zone type property is set to table. Each OCR zone cell class gives you further information about each border of the cell, including width and color, as well as the type of data found inside. The character filters property specifies for the results to be filtered by digit, uppercase, lowercase, etc. This will tell our engine to only look for digits in this zone or only look for uppercase characters. The fill method property identifies what data was found in the zone. For instance, this could be set to ICR for handwriting or MICR for check reading. Default means for the engine to determine the fill method automatically. The ID property simply provides a unique identifier for the zone within the collection. The name property allows you to set a name for a particular zone. This is useful if you are manually adding zones and wanting to find a particular zone later. The OMR confidence property gives you the confidence as a percentage of the results found in the OMR state property. These two properties are only valid if the fill method property is set to OMR. The recognition module property identifies which module within the OCR engine will be used to recognize the data found in the zone based on the fill method. For instance, if the fill method is set to ICR, the recognition module may be set to ICR numeral or ICR character. The recognition options property can hold multiple flags specifying additional options for recognizing the zone data. You could have the flags ignore whitespace and disable language dictionary bitwise or together. The selected property is not used by our OCR engine, but rather available to you if you wish to display the zone to the user. You can use this property to indicate whether a user has selected a zone or not. The zone type property identifies the type of text data located in the zone. The text data could be a column, a header or footer, a caption, a title. It could also be vertical text, left rotated or right rotated. The OCR page interface also contains functions that are related to the image, the zones and recognition. I'll stop the debugging so we can take a look at them. The auto process, auto zone, load zones, save zones, and recognize functions are used in the same fashion as the functions in the OCR document interface and its pages collection described earlier. When called from the OCR page interface, however, they only act on the page they are called from. The next functions relate to the internal image in the OCR page class. The create thumbnail function will create a thumbnail size of the internal image in the OCR page instance based on the dimensions you pass in. The get raster image function allows you to obtain a copy of the internal image. If you make any adjustments to the image and want to replace the current image with your adjusted image, use the set raster image function. If the image is 8 bits per pixel or less, you can obtain a byte array of the palette using the function get palette. The next two functions deal with identifying the zone data. Use the detect fill method and update fill method functions to have the OCR engine determine the type of data in the zone 
such as machine printed or hand printed text. The update fill method differs from the DTEC fill method in that it only performs the update on zones whose fill method is set to default. The next three functions can only be called after the auto preprocess function has been called with their corresponding flag. The get dskew angle function will only succeed if the dskew flag was used. This function will return the angle the image was rotated by to dskew the image. The get rotate angle function requires the rotate flag to have been used and will return the angle the image was rotated by. The is inverted function requires the invert flag to have been used and will return whether the image was inverted or not. The next two functions are not used by our OCR engine, but rather are provided to help you provide user interface control to your users. The get zone bounds in pixels function will convert the coordinates of the zones into pixel coordinates you can use to draw the zones on the image returned from the Git raster image. The hit test zone function will return the index to a zone if the given test point falls inside the bounds, otherwise a negative one is returned. The recognize text function returns as a string all the text found in the zones on the page. You can use this to identify forms by adding one zone in a particular part of the page and checking the data found there with this function. When calling the unrecognized function, the results from the page will be removed from the engine's internal list and the page's is recognized property will be marked false. For the next functions, I'll remove our previous code. and obtain a reference to the page after calling the recognize function. Calling get recognized characters returns an OCR page characters interface. This interface is a collection that holds all the characters for the page. The collection is of OCR zone characters interfaces. You can use the for each statement with this collection, iterating through each OCR zone character in the collection. Each OCR zone character interface is also a collection. It contains all the characters for the zone within the page. The interface is a collection of OCR character structures. You can use the for each statement with this collection, iterating through each OCR character in the collection. The OCR character structure provides all information about each character in the page that it was recognized in. The base property tells you the height of the character from the baseline set by the word the character is contained in. The bounds property tells you the exact coordinates in pixels of the character. The cell index is the index of the cell in the table that contains this character. Code is the character code for the data found in the zone. Color is the color of the character code. The confidence property states the confidence the engine has picked the correct character code in the code property. The confidence is a percentage with 100 being fully confident. Font size and font style tell you the size and style of the font for the character. Guess code 2 and guess code 3 are the second and third guesses for the character code found in the zone. Language 1 and language 2 are the possible languages the character code belongs to. Leading spaces and leading spaces confidence tells you the number of spaces before the character and the confidence the number of spaces is correct. 
The position property could contain more than one possible value. A character could be at the end of a word, line, paragraph, zone, and page. So all the mentioned flags could be set for one character. The word is certain property indicates whether this character is part of a word that has passed the spell checking. This can occur if the engine is very sure of all the characters in the word, but the word is not in the dictionary, or the engine is not sure of all the characters, but the word is in the dictionary. The OCR zone character interface also contains a function for obtaining a list of words for the zone as well. Use the get words function specifying the pages X and Y resolution and the units you would like the bounds for each word returned in. The function returns a list of OCR word structures which tells you the bounds of the word the first and last indices for the characters of the word in the OCR zone characters collection and the word itself as a string. Using the OCR page function, set recognized characters you can alter the results the OCR engine returns before you save the results by passing in an OCR page characters interface. To see this in action, I'll adjust the for each statements to for statements so I can assign values to the OCR character variable. I'll set the character to be a lowercase a. Now let's compile and run the code. You can see all the characters are a lowercase a. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we have three OCR engines. What I have shown you up to now are the most common features that each of the OCR engines support. However, each engine does have specific settings you can alter. Use the OCR setting manager interface found in the OCR engines setting manager property. With this interface, you can get and set any of the OCR specific settings. You can also save and load these settings from a stream object.